Hi, Justin. How are you today? I'm well, thank you. How are you? Good, good. So I understand that you've come in and you're seeking some career counseling? Yeah, I need help. Okay, all right. And so um, just to confirm, you've had, what is your highest level of education at this point? A bachelor's degree. Okay, awesome. And what's that in? In performing arts. Performing arts. Awesome. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. It's a lot of work. Okay, so um, why don't you tell me a little bit about what you're currently doing? Um, I'm currently a production assistant at a theater, a local theater, and I'm just not, not happy at all with it. Okay, what, what are some of the things that you do there? Um, well, I help out with like wardrobe and, and building the sets, taking down the sets, um, and it's, it's it has nothing to do with what I went to school for and mm -hmm. kind of what I have what I went to school for, but I'm just I'm not happy doing it. Right, right. What was your ultimate goal when you went to school? Um, I guess to either like be an actor or singer or something, you know, I mm -hmm. guess be more performing rather than behind the scenes. Gotcha. And make more money, that's gotcha. for sure. Make more money. Okay, so those kind of two elements there, and that's what's lacking in your current employment. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so you're interested then in finding and securing another job so that you can quit your current job? Absolutely, yeah, I want to get out as soon as I can. Okay, all right. Well, why don't we talk about what would be an ideal position for you to have at this point? Um, I mean, ideally, I would like to be able to make a living and pay my rent and pay all my bills and, and, and be an actor. Mm -hmm. Okay, so did you want to be able, is it kind of a twofold thing where you're auditioning and um, while you're simultaneously working a different job, or are you trying to marry the two? I mean, I guess if I can blend them together, um, I don't, yeah, I guess. Okay, so you would love to be a working actor then? Absolutely. Oh, all right, all right. Now, I'm not too well-versed in kind of that world, uh -huh. but um, I think that we could probably brainstorm and collaborate and think of different ways in which um, you could go about reaching that goal or something. Probably. And I feel like that's my problem, is I need to set a goal and then oh. work towards it and like give myself deadlines. I don't give myself deadlines. I always just say I want something and then, oh, you know, I'll, go, I'll get it later or I'll achieve it later. Oh, okay. So you're saying that you actually need to start setting some goals for yourself. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah you're right. All right. Okay. Well, that sounds like that sounds very doable. I think that's something we can work on here in therapy. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So have you pretty much wanted to be in acting your whole life, or is there anything else you ever thought about doing? Um, I really love interior design. I would love mm. to, to do something. I just I have a very creative mind, so I would like to do something that I can be creative, and I don't necessarily have to follow a set rule and you know do this, don't do this. I like making my own way and figuring out my own solution. Okay, and so the current job that you're in right now with set so it's set design or it's set more build up and it's like up. I do every, I do everything. Oh, okay. I help out in whatever kind of needs to be done. Okay. So that's another thing. Like I would like purpose. I would like to. Mm. Like I said, have a goal and, and reach that goal. Okay. So you don't really feel like you have a ton of direction in what you're currently no, doing. No, I feel like it's all over the place. I see, I see. And what other types of positions have you hold, have you held, or what other employment have you had? I used to be a server. I was a server for like five years. Uh, and that was a fun job. The money was great, but it's not really a career. I don't want to be doing that my whole life. Truly, I would like... I hope I'm not sounding all over the place, but I would even love to own my own business, like be my own boss. Oh, okay. All right. So, I mean, no, I don't think that's all over the place. It sounds like, I, I think lots of people, I mean, I think in, in the average lifetime, people go through about three different career changes. Yeah. So, and, and they're usually pretty different than each other. So I think that you just have different options open within your mind of what things you'd like to do. Yeah. So it sounds like you've had kind of a lifelong dream or goal of becoming a working, working actor. Uh -huh. And then you've also had this idea of wanting to own your own business. Absolutely. And what kind of a business would that be? Um, I mean, to be honest, I think that's my problem. Is I have so many ideas. I'm passionate about so many different mm -hmm. things that okay. it's hard to say, okay, this is it. I'm putting all my eggs in this basket. And 
this is what I'm going to go for. All right. Well, let's talk about some of those ideas. I mean, in this um, setting, I think it's appropriate. Yeah, for, for sure. Um, I really like floral. I used to work at a floral shop. I mm -hmm. used to take floral class in high school. Um, and it's like it's a passion of mine. I love going to the flower market and dealing with that. So I would love to, like not even to have just a huge lucrative business. Like that would make me happy to have a cart of flowers and just sell that to people walking down the street. And that's, yeah, it's a small random passion of mine, but that's something as well. Okay. Um, and then the interior design. I love being, like I said, creative. And uh -huh. I, that's one of my favorite things to do to my apartment is to redecorate it and uh -huh. get the different fabrics and paints and pictures. And when I go to the stores, I love shopping for that kind of stuff. Right. Right. And I mean, I feel like there's a, they're very connected. I, I mean, I know it sounds sporadic, yeah. but... No, it um, is. Like, it's, yeah, it's you would need... Fresh flower, or I would think you need fresh flowers for, you know, when you're redesigning the house, or... I, I totally could see it all kind of coming together, like, a lifestyle. You know what I mean? Like, how celebrities sure. have lifestyle brands. Right. That's something that I would like to have. It's like, come to me, I could do it all. Right. I mean, it almost feels, too, like, um, perhaps even being a set designer within the entertainment industry might mm -hmm. be something that would... Yeah, like, create, a, create my own little world. Oh, I like that. That, that would, I'd be happy, because then it's like you're in the environment of the industry, um, but you, you have you have your purpose, you're doing your own thing, and there's a goal. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. I like that a lot, actually. Yeah. Cool. Well, I mean, we can certainly explore that. I think that, that you sound like you have a lot of really good ideas, and I sa it sounds as if you have, you put a lot of thought and creativity into this. There is a lot of passion there, so Thank it's you. just kind of honing in on um, yourself and, mm -hmm. and giving yourself that direction and setting those goals yeah. and then putting together an action plan to reach those goals yes. or, or get close to them. Yeah, I think an action plan is exactly what I need. Like I said, set a date and even if it's a small thing like, you know, whatever, make five flower arrangements by this date. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. just, just something to be working towards mm -hmm. it. And so you did say that you did have experience in the, the flower arrangement. Yeah, I've literally, yeah. like, done friends' weddings. And, like, when my brother got engaged, I did his engagement party. Um, yeah, I've, I've been paid for it, and I like doing it, and I'm good at it. Mm -hmm. I, I do. I think I'm good at it. Good. Now, I wanted to ask, have you had any other counseling before, any other no, therapy? No, and, and you're not currently in any therapy no. or anything? No. But I, I, I like it so far. Good. Glad to hear that. So, okay, well, I think that um, what we can then do is put together some action plan and um, put together some goals, even if we start small and do goals for therapy. I like and, that. And um, then, you know, we'll just work towards kind of that larger overall theme of um, putting you on the right path to where you are happy in what you're doing and cool. feel fulfilled and yeah. um, feel like you have a purpose and direction. Yeah, and I feel like now I have a sense of, or now I need to be accountable. You know what I mean? Now that we've talked about it, it helps me push myself to, okay, for the next session, like, I have to have this done. Right, right. And I mean, it's good motivation. Mm -hmm. And now are you done with school, or is this something that you'd want to put towards some more schooling in? I don't know. I mean, I've already gone so far. Part of me is like, why not? You know what I mean? You mm -hmm. see those people that just pound through and just keep going and going and going. Um, but it's I, it's not something I've decided right now. Right, right. So that would just be...